Seorang man aged 20 allegedly berjalan di India berumur 43 tahun ditemui orang menggantung diri di dalam kereta. What your feeling can like influence other people? Because we, I have this understanding that Muslims have a stronger faith in their religion. If you feel like you're not doing all right, you should immediately seek help because there are always people around who are willing to hear you out. I was officially diagnosed with bipolar 1 disorder uh, a few years ago. I was also diagnosed with anxiety and perfectionism. Depression is like you living in slow motion and seeing everything and everyone around you move constantly and you can't keep up. It makes me feel restless and sometimes I try to sleep it off because if I'm awake, it would feel like forever. There is no rest. I would get these two things called manic phases and depressive phases. But when I get into a manic phase, I tend to do stupid things. I don't think about it, and um, I would spend excessively. I would think I'm invincible. I would set goals that are way too high for me. I think the worst type of war to fight is a war with yourself, where there is conflict between what you know and what you feel. Like, I know I'm not supposed to feel this way, I know I'm not supposed to hate myself. I shouldn't be sweating, trembling in fear. I shouldn't feel worthless and unwanted, but I can't help it. It's not a choice, it's an illness. I would hit another phase, which is called the depressive phase. I would just stay in bed, missing, like, you know, just dismissing all the responsibilities I had. I abused drugs myself. I abused alcohol. I would also, like, abuse myself as well. Either resorting to not eating or cutting yourself or, I don't know, God forbid, figuring out a way to kill yourself, you know. I don't think a lot of people accept mental illness as an illness. There are a lot of people who still think that it's a social issue. I hate to see it as a disability because I don't want it to be like my personality. I don't want to be known as that guy who has bipolar. And I don't want to make it a crutch because I know I can live normally. I think Brunians tend to associate like people with mental illness to lack of faith. You're expected to be happy no matter what circumstances you are because God chose you to be alive. You should be happy. God chose you. Everything is a, um, everything is a blessing no matter how bad or how good. So if you're, if you're not grateful or bashukur as they say, um, you're, you're pretty much being sinful. You're listening to Satan. They like to counter people with depression by saying, oh, that's what you get for not praying. Which is very uh, counterproductive, I feel. Especially when someone needs help and the first thing you tell them, you do to them is, you know, belittle them and make them feel even worse. Praying can only give you strength to hold on when life gets tough. We need 
medication, we need counsel, we need therapy. We cannot pray the mental illness away. It's like hell. It's like going to hell. One wrong thing could happen and that's your whole world crumble into pieces and you feel like there's no reason to move on. And it's really hard to find a reason why you should be alive and breathe. Just pretty sad if you think about it because you know the world has so much to offer but your depression gets the best of you and you don't know what you can do but I also learn to appear like everyone I learn to smile I learn to have fun I learn to laugh and when something good happens, I got really happy because that's like a very precious 30 seconds of my life. Remember that brain is an organ. And if one of your organs is not functioning well, you're sick. I used to have the tendency to isolate myself from everyone. I tend to dissociate and detach myself from everything and from everyone. I just want people to know that we're just like everyone else, except that we are not well mentally. I'm just hanging on on a glimpse of faith. Too many people with depression and mental illness like i've been there before and i'm honestly i'm at this point where i'm really glad that i've hung on to life that life can be beautiful in its own way it's just trying to let them know that you're always there for them just saying that nobody is alone no matter what they are going through. Just like how you wish to be understood, just like how you want to have someone to listen, we do too.